Okay, so during beta decay, an electron is emitted from the nucleus of an atom. But wait, there are no electrons in the nucleus. So how exactly does this happen? Hi there, it's Dennis here and in this video we'll be exploring the intriguing science of beta decay. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Alright, let's get started. Before we delve into beta decay, let's start with the basics. Why does radioactive decay happen in the first place? Well, it all boils down to one thing, achieving stability. You see, at the heart of every atom lies a battle. A battle between the strong nuclear force which holds the protons and neutrons together in the nucleus and the electromagnetic force which tries to push the protons apart since they are of the same charge. To maintain balance, atoms undergo various processes to become more stable. One of those processes is radioactive decay. Now let's focus on beta decay which is a specific type of radioactive decay. When a nucleus has too many protons or too many neutrons, it becomes unstable. So to regain stability, the nucleus may undergo beta decay. But here's the problem. There are no electrons in the nucleus. So how does it release an electron? Well, here's the magic. Think of a neutron as a combination of a proton and an electron. And this makes sense since electrons and protons have equal but opposite charges which makes the neutron electrically neutral. Now for beta decay to take place, a neutron in this unstable nucleus somehow transforms into a proton and during this transformation, a high energy electron is also ejected. This electron is what is commonly referred to as the beta particle. But there is more to the story. To balance the newly formed proton, another particle is also emitted in the process, the anti-neutrino. This is a somewhat mysterious particle which barely interacts with matter, making it very hard to detect. So maybe I'll make a separate video on the anti-neutrino. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now you might be wondering, why does all this happen? Well, it's all about the desire for a more balanced and stable nucleus. In the end, nature has its own way of maintaining harmony, even at the microscopic level. From the release of a beta particle to the underlying search for stability, it's a complex dance happening right at the heart of the atom. Now besides radioactivity, there are very many other scientific phenomena that you will find exciting. Let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video, Brilliant. Brilliant is the world's best website to learn STEM subjects. So what makes Brilliant special? Well, all the lessons on Brilliant are designed to be as interactive as possible. Research shows that learning is most effective when we engage with the things we are learning, and that's exactly what Brilliant does. Every concept is reinforced with simulations you can play with as well as particularly selected quizzes to make sure you're not missing out on the key facts. With hundreds of courses in science, math and computer science, Brilliant is the best way to learn. Whether you're a student preparing for an exam, a professional who wants to enhance your knowledge or just anyone who wants to learn new skills, Brilliant is for you. And if you're not sure which course to start with, Brilliant's course on scientific thinking is a great start. It will change the way you think and interact with the world around you. And here's the good news. Brilliant is offering a 30-day free trial for all viewers of this channel and a 20% discount on their premium subscription for the first 200 people to sign up using the special link brilliant.org slash the physics math wizard. So thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. And if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me, subscribe to the channel for more videos like these, let me know in the comments which topics you would like to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.